Hemoglobin, abbreviated as HB or HGB, is the main constituent of RBCs. It carries out the important function of transporting oxygen from the lungs to various parts of the body. Hemoglobin is a globular conjugated metal protein tetramer with a quaternary structure consisting of two pairs of polypeptide globin chains to which are attached iron-containing heme groups, which is a complex of iron and protoporphyrin. A simplified representation of hemoglobin structure is seen here. There are numerous methods for estimating the quantity of hemoglobin in blood. In this video, we are going to use the most universal and commonly used Sahalis method for hemoglobin estimation. The Sahalis hemoglobinometer, or simply hemometer, is a portable and modest medical lab instrument used to measure the amount of hemoglobin present in a sample of blood. Commercially sold Sahalis hemometer units consist of a pair of standard color comparison tubes in a backlight or plastic enclosure, a hemoglobin pipette, a hemoglobin tube consisting of a yellow color gram percent graduation from 2 to 22, and a red color percent graduation from 10 to 140. Stirring rods, a tiny container for storing 0.1 normal hydrochloric acid a dropper, and a brush for cleaning the hemoglobin tube. The Sahalis method of estimation of hemoglobin is based on the conversion of hemoglobin to a brown-colored acid hematin in the presence of hydrochloric acid. For this experiment, you will need the following. Sahalis hemoglobinometer or hemometer, 0.1 normal hydrochloric acid, distilled water, blood sample either from a pricked finger or from a sample drawn from the vein and stored in a tube containing an anticoagulant, cotton and rubbing alcohol. Fill the hemoglobin tube till the 2 gram percent mark with 0.1 normal hydrochloric acid. Using the hemoglobin pipette, draw the blood sample up to the 20 mark. Transfer this drawn sample to the tube containing hydrochloric acid and stir the contents for 5 to 15 minutes. Now, position the tube in between the color comparison tubes. Add distilled water dropwise to the tube while stirring the contents after addition of each drop. Keep adding the distilled water until that point when the color in the hemoglobin tube matches with those of the color comparison tubes. Once a match is obtained, read the lower meniscus of the fluid on the gram percent side of the tube. This reading reflects the hemoglobin content in grams per 100 milliliters or deciliter of blood. If hemoglobin is less than 2 gram percent, take double the quantity of blood and divide the result by a factor of 2. If hemoglobin concentration is significantly high, dilute the blood sample with an equal amount of normal saline and multiply the reading by a factor of 2. The normal hemoglobin range for adult men and women is as follows. In men, it's 13.5 to 17.5 grams per deciliter. In women, it's 12 to 15.5 grams per deciliter. High hemoglobin is caused by polycythemia or high RBC count. Lung diseases such as COPD, heart diseases, dehydration, hypoxia, carbon monoxide exposure, performance-enhancing drugs such as steroids, smoking, etc. Low hemoglobin is more commonly known as anemia and may be the result of certain types of cancer, chronic kidney diseases, leukemia, certain medications, cirrhosis, hypothyroidism, Hodgkin's and non-Hodgkin's lymphoma.